Hello class, this is Mr. Lehman. I'm going to talk to you today about Smells Unit Lesson 4, which we introduce less, uh, Lewis dot symbols and Lewis dot structures. And so Lewis dot symbol, think of chemical symbols. Uh, think of like, you know, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, I mean fluorine, and neon. So we got elements 6 through 10 right here. This is the chemical symbol for each. If we want to make the Lewis dot symbol for each, then we need to add a dot for each of the valence electrons found in a neutral atom of each of these substances, each of these elements. So carbon has six electrons, two in the first shell, four in the second shell. So carbon has four outer electrons. And so I put those four outer electrons around it. Uh, on each of the four sides of it. So I put one on top, one on the left, one on the bottom, one on the right, showing that carbon has four valence electrons. Nitrogen is five. So I start off the same, top, left, bottom, right. I have a fifth electron, so I start to pair them up. So nitrogen has five, oxygen has six. So one, 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 one. A second goes here, making one pair. A second goes here, making two pairs. Fluorine has seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has three pairs, three sets of two, with one lone electron there. And neon or noble gas has eight. So I'll just go ahead and fill them in four pairs of two. So these are Lewis dot symbols. Lewis dot structures are where we combine these and we show where all the valence electrons are in a whole molecule. And so instead of drawing lines like we did in structural formulas and Lewis dot structures, we draw dots. So let's see how this is done here. So here, here we have CH4, methane. So CH4, which is naturally methane gas. And so the way these fit together, carbon has four, it wants eight, so it needs to combine and form four single covalent bonds. It needs to share four of its electrons, so get four shared in return. And so this hydrogen here wants one. It wants a grand total of two. And so it comes in here. They partner up and they form a bond. This hydrogen here has one valence electron. It comes in and it partners up. This hydrogen comes in here, partners up. It shares one with carbon. Carbon shares one of its valence electrons in return. And same thing here. This hydrogen comes in, shares one with carbon, carbon shares one back. Hydrogen only has one shell. It fills up with two. So each hydrogen needs to have two electrons around it. This is happy, this is happy, this is happy, this is happy. Carbon needs to have its second shell full. It needs to have eight. Two, four, six, eight. Everybody's happy. And so this is the correct Lewis dot structure for this substance, methane. If I ask you to draw the structural formula, then you can just draw it like this. When I ask you to draw the Lewis dot, you got to draw this here. Right, let's try one more together, folks. And so here we have the molecular formula PCl3, phosphorus trichloride. And so phosphorus has five. I know that because it's in the same family as nitrogen. Chlorine each has seven. Everybody wants to have eight. And so we can position these around here. So this chlorine is going to come in here and form a single covalent bond. Each one is sharing one with the other. That's a single covalent bond. This chlorine is going to sneak up in here and form a single covalent bond with phosphorus. Chlorine shares one with phosphorus. Phosphorus shares one in return. And our third and final chlorine is going to sneak on in here on the left side and form a single covalent bond uh, with this substance. Now I can, I'm going to highlight where the single covalent bonds are. So this is a bond. This is a bond. They're sharing this pair. And there's a bond here. And so I could draw the molecular formula, or excuse me, the structural formula. Like this. This is a structural formula. This is a molecular formula. This is a Lewis dot structure. One last thing here in lesson four. Lone pairs of electrons versus bonded pairs. So think of 
lone pairs belong to one single atom. They're the property of one atom. Bonded pairs are pairs that are being shared among two atoms. They're atoms that are part of a bond, a covalent bond. And so now if we go back and take a look at some of the things that we've formed, here's methane. Are there any lone pairs of electrons? Are there any pairs that belong to one single atom? No, no lone pairs. We have four bonded pairs. Zero lone pairs. So here's a bonded pair. Here's a bonded pair. They're being shared between carbon and hydrogen. Here's the third. And here is the fourth. Take a look at another example here, PCL3. Are there any lone pairs? Yeah, there are a lot. Each chlorine, this, these two electrons belong to this chlorine. These two belong to this chlorine and these two belong to this chlorine. So this chlorine has three lone pairs. This chlorine has three pairs of electrons, valence electrons all to itself. Grand total of six so far. This chlorine has three lone pairs to itself. And this phosphorus has a lone pair to itself. So the ones I circled in red are lone pairs. They belong to one atom. How many bonded pairs do I have? I'll do this in purple here. There, there's one pair being shared between two atoms. Here's a second pair. Here's a third pair. So we have three bonded pairs. All right, that's it for lesson four. Hopefully this helped. Have a great day.